Hello, people of the internet! My name is Johnny. Welcome back to yet another FNAF news video. In today's video, we have updates on FNAF's 10th anniversary releases. Hex has revealed a bunch of upcoming plushies. We got our first look at gameplay with the FNAF collab in Funko Fusion. That and so much more we're going to be talking about today. So if you're excited for all the FNAF news as well as FNAF's 10th anniversary coming up pretty soon, scroll down, tickle that subscribe button. We're less than 2,000 subs away from 100,000 subscribers. So again, if you're not subscribed, just feel free to help us get to that goal. But starting off this video with some book news, we got a brand new preview for the Glow in the Dark FNAF coloring book. These previews are super low resolution, but they do give us a brand new look at some pages, including the neon sign for the Mega Pizza Plex, Glamrock Freddy and Glamrock Chica jamming out, as well as classic Freddy Fazbear striking a pose with his microphone. This Glow in the Dark coloring book is set to be released on August the 6th of 2024, so it's coming up. And it's got over 96 pages, 24 of which are glow in the dark, so pretty exciting book. But another very exciting book is The Week Before, an interactive novel set to be released on September the 3rd, with this book serving as a prequel story to the very first FNAF game, following the security guard who worked the week before, hence the name. And actually, in a brand new description for the novel, we learn that the reader's name is actually Ralph. So the night guard that worked at FNAF 1's pizzeria before Mike is named Ralph, which is pretty interesting interesting because if that's true we know that the phone guy worked the night shift before Mike in FNAF 1 so is Ralph actually the name of the phone guy or is this just a different security guard in its entirety? Moving on now to merchandise starting off with trends they just released two new FNAF posters one of them being the classic Freddy Fazbear's Pizza Pizza Box and the other one being the holy Nightmare Fred Burger. Moving on now to FYE they just released their fourth Fizzy Faz drink this time of Glamrock Chica as you can see this one is Pop Star Pink Lemonade and it uh, it doesn't really look like pink lemonade, but but sure, we'll go with that. We've tried all of the other Fizzy Faz sodas, the Freddy and Roxy, as well as recently the Monty soda. So now we can finally complete the Glamrock collection with their brand new Chica soda, which we will be trying in a YouTube short pretty soon. They also just released their aioli sauce, which I was fortunately, or depending on how you look at it, unfortunately lucky enough to pick up. And finally, just showing off my FYE haul at this point, they also released a brand new cup, this time of Toy Bonnie. Moving on now to U2s, they've been teasing a whole bunch of brand new products. First up is this Roxanne Wolf Shoulder Rider. This was teased a couple months ago in the blurry background of a TikTok, so it's nice that we're finally getting it. They also showed off a brand new plush of the puppet with super long and lanky limbs, very similar to how the puppet actually looks in the games. And of course, all these new plushies are part of their brand new FNAF collection, which just released. And this brand new collection includes nightlights of Freddy, as well as the moon, plushies of Dreadbear, that new marionette plushie, as well as Freddy inside of a pizza pocket. And lastly, a whole bunch of shoulder riders of Bonnie, Ennard, Monty, Roxanne, and Foxy. Like I said, that collection is available right now, but that is not the only brand new collection U2s has been teasing. You might remember previously, we took a look at their concept art for a Phantom Freddy figure? Well, they just released brand new concept art of Phantom Chica, ultimately confirming that a Phantom Wave is in the works. I quite like this concept art. I know a lot of people would have liked Chica emerging from that arcade machine that she shows up in in FNAF 3, and I do think that would have been really incredible. And u is also cooking up a wave for the 10th anniversary of FNAF, previously confirming that Chipper from Chipper and Sons Lumber Company, the game that Scott made before FNAF 1, he's getting a figure. We also got a a teaser of the 3D model of the Chipper figure. And Austin from YouTube's also confirmed that Tyke, the son of Chipper, is also getting a figure. So two Chipper and Sons figures for the 10th anniversary of FNAF. Like I said previously, I'd really love to see a classic Scott Games wave of figures, and it seems like they're actually doing that. So here's hoping that Coffee from the Desolate Hope can also get a figure. I'd love to know what are your thoughts on the Chipper teaser. Moving on now to Hex, Docker recently hosted a charity stream for the Trevor Project. And even though he said he had no FNAF reveals planned, he did end up showing off a bunch of upcoming Hex products. With the first one being the upcoming Glow in the Dark Shadow Bonnie plushie. We already knew this plushie was in the works, and actually it'll be released alongside a Shadow Freddy plushie, as well as a t-shirt featuring 
featuring the shadows and a Shadow Freddy hoodie. Docco also confirmed that the Spring Trap plushie will likely be released in July. And then we got a whole bunch of concept art for even more upcoming Hex plushies. Starting off with Ennard from Sister Location, this guy looks insane. Docco also has plans for Ennard to have a removable mask. I'd assume in a pretty similar fashion to their Withered Bonnie plushie. The final design will also include both of his eyebrows as well as bendable wires to pose his limbs. And then moving on to a whole bunch of security breach plushies, first up we've got the sun. You can see a whole bunch of details with this plushie including LED light bulbs in his eyes. This one will also have bendable limbs similar to their puppet plushie in Ennard. Then we got some concept art for Glamrock Freddy. And actually it seems like the security breach plushies are even further in development than what we've seen previously because Docco also showed off a 3D model of the Glamrock Freddy plushie. And this guy looks absolutely phenomenal, I will say. I'm super excited to get the Glamrocks as Hex plushies. And Docco also showed off concept art and a 3D model for Roxanne, and she too looks absolutely, absolutely phenomenal. I feel like they should bulk up her hair, but other than that, you know, that's a minor complaint. All of these concepts look incredible. A pin of Sister Location was also revealed, featuring the Funtime mascots of Circus Baby's Pizza World, you know, Ballora, Funtime Freddy, Funtime Foxy, and of course, Baby. And then also on that charity stream, a Security Bridge hoodie was revealed, featuring all the Glamrock band members, Chica, Freddy, Monty, Roxanne. The art looks incredible. And then Docco also on the stream talked about a whole bunch of other upcoming plushies, including Lefty, Scrap Trap, and Molten Freddy from Freddy Fazbear's Pizza Sim, the Cupcake specifically from the FNAF movie, as well as a plushie of the Yellow Rabbit from the FNAF movie, an actual hand puppet plushie of Bon Bon, and also a dual release of plushies of Vanny as well as Glitch Trap. So that is all of the Hex reveals, a crap ton of reveals for a charity stream that wasn't supposed to have any. But I'm really digging the concept art, everything they showed off looks fantastic, super excited for the future of Hex. But also, with that live stream, because we're still not done, Docco did briefly touch upon his interview with Scott Cawthon, which is going to be released on the 5th of August, a part of FNAF's big 10 year anniversary week. Oh, guys, I might as well say I've done the Scott interview. Scott interview is done. So, yeah, very excited for that. Uh, that will be released, obviously, in the anniversary week. Um, yeah, it was good. It was good. It was a good interview. Um, just just letting you guys know that now. It's a little disappointing, I feel like, that the community didn't get to ask or submit any questions for Scott, but I'm praying that Docco did a good job picking out some good questions. It's been six years since that last Scott Cawthon interview, you know, with Docco beating 50-20 mode in 2018 with Ultimate Custom Night, and FNAF has exploded in popularity with the VR game, Security Breach, the movie, the brand new book series, the fanverse as well, all of the future endeavors like future Steel Wool games, Click Teams games, and of course the sequel to the FNAF movie, like there was a lot to talk about, and I really do trust Docco in asking asking solid questions. And thankfully it does seem like everything went well with the interview, so overall, very exciting news. But actually speaking about FNAF's 10th anniversary, another reveal that we got was the 2nd of August. We'd finally get that office demo of the Joy of Creation by Nixon. We talked about it briefly during that big 10 year anniversary news video, but we did kind of gloss over it because there was so much to talk about. But a trailer got released for the demo as well as a Steam page that has a few brand new shots of the office demo those look incredible and then we also got some brand new gameplay footage of the living room level in the joy of creation featuring ignited freddy he shows up behind us in the door frame very very creepy keep in mind that the living room is not planned to be included in the office demo hence the name office demo so unfortunately we will have to wait a bit longer to play absolute peak but my god, does it look like absolute peak. Moving on now to Help Wanted 2, the title has finally been released in flat mode, aka non-VR mode, and actually still will release a brand new Faz Force commercial to advertise the new version. So if you don't own a VR headset, you can now play Help Wanted 2 on PlayStation 5 and Steam. Moving on now, let's talk about Funko Fusion, an upcoming four-player cooperative action-adventure game. A new trailer has been released for the game, which does launch on console as well as PC 
on September 13th. And in that trailer, we got our very first look at the FNAF level as well as Freddy Fazbear in action. And this first clip looks like we got Freddy Fazbear fighting a boss. Looks like he's wielding a Fazbear themed oven pizza gun, which a lot of people did note looks awfully similar to the oven in Into the Pit. In another scene, we can see Freddy in some melee action fighting with his microphone. And then lastly, we got some gameplay of the FNAF level. In this clip, we can see Freddy, Chica, Bonnie up on the show stage. Looks like there's some graffiti on the back that says, we're bored, please stay. We can spot a camera off to the left. It looks like it has some electricity running through it. And also a lot of people were pointing it out. The sun in the background does look like a Funko Pop version of the sun from the supposedly canceled FNAF Plus game. So <laughs> looks like FNAF Plus is living on in Funko form. But I'd love to know what are your thoughts on this first look at FNAF's collab in Funko Fusion? Are you going to be picking up the game when it releases again September 13th? I know for a fact we're going to be playing it. We're going to be using Freddy Fazbear the whole way. And like I've said previously, hopefully this game collab opens up the door for other collaborations with FNAF and other games, which does seem to be the case come August 6th. But that is going to do it for all the FNAF news today. Thank you all so much for watching, and I'll see you all on the flip side. Goodbye.